Xiaomi's Redmi Note lineup has been very popular among the consumers both in China and internationally. In August 2016, Xiaomi announced the Redmi Note 4, which is a successor to its highly popular Redmi Note 3 and it strikes a great balance between beauty and performance. But recently, Xiaomi released an upgraded variant known as Redmi Note 4X, which now offers more color options, some minor spec tweaks and nearly identical design. So let's find out, does the X really makes any difference or it's just a gimmick? Now let's start with the build and design. Aesthetically, the design hasn't changed much, it's almost identical to Redmi Note 4 unless you take a closer look. The second you hold the device, you can literally feel the difference as it weighs only 165 grams, which is about 10 grams lighter than Redmi Note 4. The 4X has some minor design changes like the two small screws on both sides of micro USB charging port have been removed for a cleaner look. And the antenna bands have been minimized and replaced by shiny stripes rather than cheap looking white plastic. Which is nothing major but I think it's quite enough to make the 4X a modern and sleek looking phone which you will be proud to hold. The thickness is still 8.5mm but due to its weight reduction and 2.5D curved glass it is much more comfortable to hold as compared to Redmi Note 4. Additionally, Redmi Note 4 has a unimetal chassis but in case of Redmi Note 4X, the body is made up of metal as well as plastic which is added to the upper side and the bottom of the device which I think is kind of subjective and personally, I don't have any problem with that unless it pops up over the time, you know what I mean. The best thing about the Redmi Note 4X that I like the most is that now it offers bunch of color options like cherry powder, champagne gold, platinum silver grey, matte black and some other as compared to Redmi Note 4 which only offers 3 colors gold, grey and matte black. This device is majorly targeted towards international audience as it supports most of the 4G bands except the 800MHz band. For a budget phone, the Redmi Note 4X is well made. It has fairly slim bezels to the left and right of the screen which combines with the gently sloping edges at the rear which basically means that it is much more easier for single-handed use. At the right, you will find the volume rockers along with the power button. On the left, there is the SIM card tray which is by the way a hybrid SIM slot as usual. On the bottom, you will find twin speaker grills but there is a still just a mono speaker found inside and I think the mono speaker sounds slightly better on this one as compared to Redmi Note 4. On the top, you will find the secondary microphone along with 3.5mm jack and this time the IR blaster also has been moved towards the right side and I really don't know why Xiaomi tends to do these kind of changes. Now, if you scan the spec sheet, then you will find that most of the hardware is quite similar to the Indian variant of Redmi Note 4 but it's different if you compare it with the Chinese variant which runs on the MediaTek chip. So the Redmi Note 4X is equipped with a Snapdragon 625 processor along with 3 or 4 gigs of RAM and you can also choose between 32 or 64 gigs of internal storage. The one that I'm using currently is the 3 GB RAM and 32 GB internal storage which is the international variant. The Redmi Note 4X has a 5.5 inch IPS LCD screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It is also very bright with the maximum output of 450 nits and it is easily visible in the bright sunlight with the brightness slider cranked right up. The device is powered by the same 4100 mAh battery but still it does not support fast charging which is kind of disappointing because a battery size like this takes much more time to charge up and in my usage I found that it took around 2 hours to charge my device from 0 to 100 which is lot as I am quite used to of dash charging of my OnePlus 3T. So these were the specifications but now let's talk about the performance and I'm going to share my personal experience of using this device for about a week. The device is very solid and the in-hand feel is really amazing. In my day-to-day -day usage which includes a solid hour of playing games, reading emails, checking social networks and generally zipping between the home screen and different apps, the Redmi Note 4X hadn't shuttered. It is very hard to argue against a phone that costs so little and yet performs so well. Now for those who are thinking about benchmarking then I have tested this device on Ontutu benchmark and it scored 61738 which is quite decent but personally I am not a benchmark guy as I believe more on using the device practically. In a week of usage I didn't find any lag while switching between apps and the battery backup is just insane. Due to its 8.5mm thickness the company was able to pack a much larger battery of 4100mAh which can get you through a full day easily and still your device will have around 40% remaining battery. 
In my testing, I found that with moderate usage, my device lasts about 2 days with a screen on time of 6 to 7 hours which is far better than some of the major flagship devices present in the market. So all in all, I was quite satisfied with the performance of Redmi Note 4X which I used for about a week as my daily driver. Now let's talk about the camera. On paper, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X appears to have the same camera setup as the Note 4 and the similarities just end here because this time they have swiped out the 13 megapixel Samsung sensor for a Sony IMAX 258 which is a good news. Now if we compare both the cameras then I think the new Sony sensor is slightly better than Samsung One in terms of taking some decent photos as I think the Sony sensor produces a better dynamic range with good level of details. Now I'm not gonna say too much about the camera so let the images speak for themselves. The secondary camera on 4X is of 5 megapixel with f2.0 aperture which is exactly same as Redmi Note 4 and it can also take some pretty good photos in different lighting conditions. Now if you want to see a detailed camera comparison between Redmi Note 4 and 4X then do let me know that in the comment section. Moving forward to the software department which I think is kind of skinny as it runs on a custom version of Android called MIUI and it is running on the latest version that is MIUI 8.2 on the top of Android Marshmallow. But for those who are wondering when they will update it to Nougat then guys you don't have to wait too much as Android Nougat is already under beta testing and it will be releasing anytime soon so keep your eye on the updater app. Now I am not a big fan of MIUI as I love stock Android experience that's why I am using the Nova launcher but if you are one of those who had used this UI in past then I am pretty sure that you will like it as it offers lots of features like built in app lock, dual app, second space, touch assistant and they even have their own thin engine. Now if you want to know more about MIUI then I had made couple of videos on that which I will be linking in the description down below so do check out. So my final thoughts regarding this device is that it is not a huge upgrade over Redmi Note 3 or Note 4 but still it packs a decent mid-range specification which will get you most of the work done without breaking your bank. I imported this unit from a Chinese e-commerce website called banggoods.com and they have a huge variety of consumer electronic products from which you can choose from. The Redmi Note 4X global version with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage cost me around 150 US dollars which is roughly equal to 10,000 Indian rupees and the best thing is that I don't have to pay any extra for the customs. So guys that's it for this video and this one is the first smartphone review that I have done on my channel. So if you liked it then do let me know that in the comment section and for more videos like this subscribe to Extreme Droid and press the bell icon so that you never misses any new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.